So this is the um, buck saw that I made at home. No big deal, 24 inch blade. I use taut line hitches to put tension on the upper part of the limbs. And we're just gonna give it a try and see what happens. Kendall, if you wanna stand over there, Kendall. And you can actually help me once we get going. Cody did. There are thorny trees in here. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. Told you. Good mild weather though. Practically t-shirt weather. Ooh, ow. Okay, so here we go. So just grab down here. Yep. Yes, yep. But you put one hand up there if you want. And just gently start. Okay, don't put any pressure on it. Just let it cut through. Good job. Okay, you gotta keep it straight so we don't bend the blade. Okay, good job. So here we have a, two people working the, uh, the buck saw. The wood's really wet, it's dead. Uh, it's soaked right through, I think. What are you gonna do with the wood after? Just leave it? We'll see. Somebody could use it. So I can see how this would take some time, but the saw is certainly working. Doing its... So you pull, Kendall, and I pull. You don't push, okay? Don't push. Can I try sure. afterwards? Here you go. Put your hands down lower, closer to the blade. Okay, careful. And it works with one people too. Not as well. Looks like it's gonna work. Well, it's gonna work all right. It just takes time. Yeah. Now, I don't wanna do a uh, 45 minute video here, but I don't see any problem with it. I don't see any problem with the uh, homemade buck saw. Seems to be hand standing up all right. Could use maybe a brace in here, just to strengthen it or I could maybe uh, tighten up on the taut line hitches. But anyways, I'm satisfied that it will work, but I'm not gonna stay here cutting through this six or eight inch piece of lumber, whatever it is. So to tighten it, just pull in and pull on the, on the cords. That's all I have to do. This side. Pretty good. That's it. Yeah, good.